Hello guys, welcome back to another short and latest SpaceX update video. SpaceX started the final phase of pre-flight testing of Starship today. After months of work, the Starship full stack of Booster 9 and Ship 25 underwent its first testing since the new hot staging ring was installed. Although we didn't see any sign of prop loading on the ship, the locks and methane tanks on the booster were partially filled with liquid nitrogen. SpaceX detanked the booster. But it wasn't done for the day. The venting from the orbital launch integrated tower was quite a show. Booster 9 was loaded with LN2 again for a second round. Detanked it once again. SpaceX concluded today's testing by activating and testing the water deluge system, which we haven't seen in a long time and called it a day. But it was great to see the orbital launch mount coming alive once again after so many weeks. And the hype for the second Starship flight is back. Do you think we will see the second Starship launch in November, or will the FAA just delay it further? Yesterday, SpaceX completed two Starlink missions within 24 hours from two different launch pads, one on the East Coast and the other on the West Coast. Starlink Group 6-24 and 7-5 were launched from SLC-40 at Cape Canaveral and SLC-40 at Vandenberg, respectively. Both the first stage boosters, B-1080 and B-1061, launched and landed for the 4th and 16th times, deploy. respectively. Stage 1, landing lake deploy. Stage, stage 1, one landing, landing confirmed. confirmed. Unlike any other previous missions, Starlink 6-24 launched 23 Starlink V2 mini satellites with a combined mass of 18,400 kilograms or about 40,500 pounds. It was the heaviest payload that a Falcon 9 has ever launched into low Earth orbit. With this, SpaceX has completed 76 successful missions so far. SpaceX is targeting a total of 100 launches this calendar year. In fact, by SpaceX standards, this number will be an average figure in the future. That is it for now. I will see you in the next video with more updates.